Hey guys, I am back again. So I have good news, I have better news, I have bad news, I have a cup of coffee. So I thought I'd check in and just give you guys an update. So let's start with my um, evaporative cooler. I told you guys yesterday how my evaporative cooler was not working right. Well, it was just a pump and the pump was only 3224. So actually my husband got up there and we didn't even have to have our friend come over and look at it because it was like obvious that it was the pump. It was just not pumping the water up and that's why it wasn't making the air cool. Um, so it was a quick, easy fix. It's like a plug in, like, like you literally unplug it and plug it back into some tubes and the electric and it's done. So that was like super quick and easy and so much cheaper than I thought, like huge relief. And the car, my hubby can do that too. So we um, got all the stuff for the car today. It was like 100 and, I don't know, 108 today or something like that. Uh, so he did not start working on it because it's just so hot and um, you have to lay underneath it and all that kind of stuff. So um, he's gonna start super early tomorrow morning. Hopefully the heat breaks overnight and he'll be able to work on it in the morning. We had to get the um, water pump, the uh, new belt, for the water pump, uh, the fluid that goes inside of the, the radiator fluid, um, the coolant, and a sealant, the gasket sealer. Um, so we've got all of that and he's gonna hopefully, hopefully get it done tomorrow. And um, maybe I'll be back to work by Wednesday. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, um, I kind of had a no spend day. I did put this on the credit card. So I do owe this back. This one on the credit card. Oh, I found out that <laughs> I'm lame and it, visas, all visas actually offer the towing thing that I was talking about where you can get five miles of towing, but you do have to call a special 800 number and it does cost like $70 or something. So I could have saved money. I spent 125 getting towed. So I could have saved like $45 um, or $55 if I would have known about calling the right proper phone number. Um, but I, uh, I guess I live and learn. And so I do get to color in this little bottom here. Um, it's kind of a win cause it was so much cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I literally thought that it was going to be something beyond my husband's capabilities and it was going to cost, you know, four to $800 to repair. And instead, um, well, hoping that he can figure this out, but I, he says he's fine, so we got the parts. Um, it's gonna be repaired for $218, so. And, and then the, the same with the EVAP cooler. Um, I wish I would have a better <laughs> emergency fund built up, because I think that I'm gonna be able to pay off some of this with my emergency fund, my car repair. Uh, take a peek. I have 75 in the emergency fund, 23 in unexpected bills. Um, I know I have car maintenance in here somewhere. Oh, I have miscellaneous savings and the challenge money. So I have another $20 there. Um, I have wherever. Oh, these are mixed up. They're in the wrong spot. That's my fun. Here's my flexible. In my flexible, I should have, um, I have shopping money, household money, car maintenance money. So I think each one of these should have a good $20 in there. That is $24 in car maintenance. Household has 23. And what does shopping have? Shopping has 16 and I probably have more in my wallet. So I need to count and check and see what I can pay back. Um, but that brings up another topic here is um, me and my husband don't exactly agree on this, this new budget thing. And he is kind of still on the fence about the cash stuffing thing. One of the things that got me started on this whole um, journey is that my took my tax return and I became a month ahead in my fixed bills. I have $1,600 sitting in a bank account and on the first of the month, I pay out most of my bills. There's July's bills, you know, and I'm paying them on the first of the month, but it's 
money that I've already had in there. And so I need to fill in July's money to repay that. And then I will have that full again by August. So my husband doesn't understand why I would put these type of things on the credit card when I have $1,600 in the checking account. So I explained to him how that's how I'm, I'm paying the bills. And then he's like, but you have all this cash and all these binders. So you could just take all the cash out and pay these and um, not leave them in their own categories and all that kind of stuff and not put this on the credit card. Um, but I think it's smarter to work this system and put it on the credit card this week since when you put it on the credit card you have about six weeks to pay it before you actually um, owe interest or anything like that. So I leave all my money in my binders and I leave my $1,600 in the checking and I keep working my fixed bills. But um, so we have a little disagreement on that and I'm <laughs> holding strong and saying this is going to work because it's been working for me for um, quite a few months now. I, I started trying to do my own budget in um, January and it was kind of clunky. I just basically was tracking my spending for the first time in forever. Um, I did a paper budget out on my own finally in April. And that's the same time that I got my tax returns. So I got to have the month ahead for my fixed and I did the paper budget thing. And I was like in love. I was like, okay, so now I know a lot more of what my money does each month and where it goes. And, you know, I, I really loved it. And um, he was like, yeah, whatever. Um, and then when I moved into cash stuffing, um, he thinks it's kind of tedious, taking time, and don't really see all the fruits of the labor yet. So um, I do really appreciate the whole online community because I don't actually have any friends that budget either. So when my mother, my friends, my sister, anybody I talk to about this, they have pretty much the same ideas in it. You have cash in your binders and it's sitting right there you should just spend it. Or you already have 1600 in your checking account. Why don't you use that as an emergency fund and call that an emergency? Um, and I'm saying, oh no, I only have $75 in my emergency fund, but I have this and this and this, and I'm gonna make it up and I'm, I'm gonna get close to paying off, you know, a good chunk of that. I think I can cover the towing and the household with what I have stuffed in the proper accounts. And then I'm gonna cover the repair hopefully soon uh, if, as long as I can get back to work <laughs> and start earning money again I think it works so I think I'm good to leave it on the credit card even if the credit card um even if I have to leave it on there for a little bit because it is actually a zero interest until March or something like that anyway but I never want to leave um money on there because I always try and pay everything off before it's actually actually due um so Anyway, um, that's my story. I just wanted to explain how um, I was saved by the skin of my teeth, basically. <laughs> I'm very lucky the way that things worked out. Um, even though my water pump went out, I was very close to home. Uh, my husband's very mechanically inclined and my pump went out. I had two pumps go out in the same darn day. Um, even though my pump went out in my evaporative cooler, it was a quick, easy fix. That was like literally one of the cheapest things that could possibly be wrong with the cooler. So uh, really good news on that end. That's basically it, I think. Um, other than what do you guys think about the whole, <laughs> should you just use the money I have in the checking account um, to pay this off so that it's all paid off and build that back up? Or should I do it the way I'm planning to do it. I don't know. I'd love some advice. I'd love some friends that like budgeting. I need budget minded people in my life um, because I don't really know any. <laughs> so everybody kind of just goes paycheck to paycheck and flies by the seat of their pants. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to, I want to have plan structured. Um, I want to have two, three, four months in advance. Um, I want to have a fully funded emergency fund. Um, I want to have a retirement fund, you know, that kind of thing is really, it's lacking in my life. And I love the way that this feels like it is leading me in the right direction and towards good things. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you do. Thanks for joining me and um, love you guys. Have a great night. All right. Bye-bye.